Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So you will get the notification of all the new videos. In this video, we will try to learn that how to calculate the mean of replicated data fold chain to check whether our uh, treated samples as compared to control is upregulated or downregulated or have the high value or low value and log to fold change t test to calculate the p value and the p value to check that whether our treated sample have significant effect on uh, our crop or our uh, parameter or non-significant effect and the p adjusted value to remove the false discovery rates within the p value during t test and how to calculate all these let's start for example this is my data and this is the gene list and this is the control and this is the treated sample and these are the r1 r2 r3 are the replication 1 2 3 and this is the treated r1 is the treatment treated samples with replication 1 replication 2 and replication 3 and these are the spkm values and you can also use this data in your physiological parameter like plant height root length shoot length and compare them with the control to treatment and also you can do this uh, analysis on that so in this analysis we will calculate the fold change that what is the fold change and how we can calculate it log to fold change p value p adjusted value and whether these uh, our treated samples and uh, control samples at the our genes or the parameters have high value or uh, low value that was up regulated or down regulated and this regulation or value up or down is significant or non-significant so let's start first we need to calculate the fold change so for calculating fold change we need the mean value of our that replicated data so first we add here column and then here we use the mean so here is the is equal to write the formula is equal to average and then select these three replications and press enter so we have got the average or mean of these three replication and then select this and at the one corner when you see this black plus so drag it down so you will see all that formula applied in all this column and you get the mean of all your replicated so simply select this all column and copy control c or copy and then here press here and control v or paste it so that formula is pasted in this column and it have the mean value of these three replications so we have the mean value of controlled and the mean value of replicated so now we can calculate the fold change so for calculating fold change we have the formula is equal to parenthesis and then that the value mean value of the treated sample minus the mean value of the control samples divided by the mean value of the control sample and press enter and same method at corner press and then drag it down so that formula apply in all that column and this is the fold change of our samples treated samples over the control and they have, have some values have the minus sign and some value have the plus sign the minus sign shows that this change is in negative means this one is down regulated or uh, these genes are down regulated the gene expression of that genes are down regulated in treated sample as compared to the control and this is value says how much they are 
down regulated and the this is the positive or this is also positive plus and 0.42 and this positive sign shows that the expression of these genes is up regulated as compared to the control and this much is is up regulated so in this way you can calculate the fold change and now log to fold change is equal to right log and then the number the mean value of treated samples divided by mean value of control samples comma and base base we use 2 because we are calculating log 2 for change 2 and press enter now this is our log 2 fold change value and it is also shows that this and the also have the negative value that it also means the negative value shows the up regulation and the positive value shows down regulation now we use to calculate the p value for p value we have these two samples means control and treated samples and we will do the comparison between these two so we use the t test so for t test uh, we also apply the formula here the is equal to t test double click on it and now we select the array one array one is our uh, replication data of control then comma then array two is the replication data of our treated samples and then comma now we will select whether it is one tail test or two tail test if we compare control with the treated sample means two so we use the two tail test if we check that this expression level high or lower in the treat only in the treatment sample or only in the control samples then we will use one tail test so here we use two tail tests because we compare our data treated sample in, with the control one so that's why here we use a two tail test so two tail test number is two then comma and then this is the paired or two sample equal variance or two sample unequal variance because the our we use this our in mean so it is our pair test so write one and then press enter and then we will get the p value and now we need to adjust this p value to remove the pdrs fdrs so copy this p values and then go to the link fdr fdr the link of this website is available in the video description you can use that link directly go to that website and you use your fdrs and then paste here your that p values in this box and then simply click on calculate wait a little more and now we have got the p values adjusted p values or corrected p values so simply copy all that p values copy and then you can paste here but you see the all values are come in all in one cell so separate them for separating you can go to the uh, here uh, home and data and then go to text to column and then here delimited next and then here because there is a comma between two values here there is a comma between two values so here you can select comma and next finish so all the values divided into different cells or in a row into different cells so then select all these values copy and here we just it select this cell right click and transpose transpose 
select this option so you are all these values which were in row 4 comes into that column format now we can simply say that that which uh, our value is up regulated and which one is down regulated this minus sign also shows that this value is uh, uh, down regulated and this value is up regulated so no need to write here so we can delete it and here now we can know or we want to know that which value is the significant and which one is the non-significant so that that this uh, so here we show that which one is significant and which one is non-significant so right is equal to if if this column that p adjusted value or p value b adjusted value is sorry is equal to if this p adjusted value is less than 0.05 then write significant otherwise non significant or false oh sorry I am doing some error in the formula so here maybe yeah here we press or add the comma and then press enter so here we get our required result so here this value is above 0 0.05 so it shows that this is a non-significant means that there is no difference in the expression of this gene this gene either it has expressed in the control or in treated samples and this gene have shown the significant results or expression because its value is below 0 0.05 it means that it is differentially expressed means its, its, its expression was different in control samples and as well as in the treated samples means it's uh, he it differently expressed in control environment and its expression was higher or lower in treated sample where in non-significant means that these genes have no effect or uh, didn't change their expression level either they were treated or in uh, control samples means they perform similarly or same way in control or treated sample or this treatment didn't affect these genes so in this way you can calculate the four change log to four change p value p adjusted value and whether these are significant and non-significant genes so hopefully this will help you if you have any query please comment please don't forget to like and share thank you